guys uh, welcome to today's video in today's video what we'll be doing is we'll be setting up the pre-commit hook with the help of husky so that we can automate our code formatting using prettier so this will help in keeping your code uh, consistent and even if any other person is working on your uh, like if you are working on the same project then again he also does not have to bother to you know format the code once you commit automatically the code will get formatted and the main thing that we'll also be using is a package called as lint stage so what it helps allows us to do is it allows us to run linters against the git files that have been staged so this will also help us in uh, what we want to achieve this is going to be great let's uh, let's go on with it okay so now let's start so the first thing what we'll do is uh, let us install husky and let's initialize it so for that what we'll do is so before uh, we install and set up husky make sure that the project that you're working on you have already initialized git in it so current for the current project i haven't do done it so let me do it so let me type git in it so now uh, it says that uh, it has initialized the empty git repository and now what i'll do is now let us set up husky so for that let me run a command called as npx husky hyphen in it ampersand ampersand npm install so what this will do is it will install husky as well as enable git hooks so here as it's saying updating package.json and what it did is in the package.json it added a script called as prepare okay and after that as you can see git hooks installed and it has created a folder called dot husky and inside which we have a pre-commit file this is like a shell file okay and here as you can see npm test is written so currently what would happen is once i run git commit this npm test command will be triggered and after all the tests are completed then the git commit is successful okay so yeah so now what we need to do we don't want npm test here let us now set up prettier and lint staged so let me clear this and now let me type in npm install lint staged prettier hyphen d so hyphen d flag means we are installing them as dev dependencies because this is only for development purposes great so we have it installed and what i'll do is now go to the package.json that is here and add this so now what this is the thing that i added here is so we have this lint staged script okay and inside which what would happen is this will run the prettier command for the files that have these extensions right so basically whenever there, there are staged files and it will try to see if there those files contain these extensions and accordingly run prettier on them but as i had told you all in the pre-commit shell file we haven't added this script here so we need to add it here you can directly edit this or another way is you can type npx husky add dot husky slash pre commit and now the uh, actual command that we want to run is npx lint staged and click enter and as you can see this command was added here so what i'll do is for now let me remove this npm test and keep this great so we have installed prettier we have installed a uh, lint stage and we have written a uh, lint stage and we have added a entry in the package.json for lint stage and told it to run prettier on these extensions and at the last what we did is we added it in the pre commit file so now let's see it in action currently i have all the files 
all the files I have not yet staged. So let me stage them first. Great. And let me commit. And let the message be keep calm and commit. And let me click enter and let the magic happen. So as you can see, npx, so here it started preparing link staged, preparing link staged and it found out that there are six files with these with this extension. There are two files with this extension and there are four files with this extension and it ran uh, uh, hyphen hyphen write on all these files. Now if I go and check, everything has been formatted properly and now what we'll do is let us test it once and look it uh, through our own eyes what we'll do is i'll add a console log here say hello okay and maybe i don't indent it properly and i don't add a semicolon as well and i save this so now we have one file that is not staged yet let me stage it and let me commit it as well let us say that it's testing and click enter and keep looking at that line 8 so always now what will happen is on git commit always the npx prettier write command would run and as you can see uh, the code has been formatted successfully so yeah this is it for the video uh, i hope you uh, liked it also i want before uh, we end this video i'll just give you a bonus tip now what would happen is npx prettier write what it does is if you don't have a prettier config setup for your own project it will take the vs code's default prettier config so if you want a specific prettier config for your own project what you can do is create a new file called as prettier dot prettier rc dot json and here what you can do is define rules and as you can see i'm already getting uh, auto suggestions suppose instead of double quotes you want to just use single quotes so make it true and let me again test this once let me uh, remove this console log great and let me clear this again as you can see there are two things that are staged. Now let me commit and just keep looking at app.tsx. And now again, Prettier would run on this file. And as you can see here, all the double quotes have been converted into single quotes. Right. And these are double quotes because these are uh, the HTML attributes. Okay, great. So accordingly, you can add uh, more configurations. Maybe tab width you want to be 4 and so on and so forth. And what you can do is you can check out the documentation to see what configurations you can add. Uh, yeah, so this was a bonus tip. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope this would help you in your projects and always developer productivity is the most important thing uh, according to me. Also, uh, another thing that you all can do is you all can set up something called as ESLint also. And what would happen is you can have your own ESLint configuration. So you can do the ESLint check maybe along with the prettier command. And that would make your uh, project code even more robust and your development even faster and quicker. So yeah, that is it for the video. Uh, if you like the video, please do share it with your friends. See you next time. Till then, happy coding guys. Bye bye.